Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. HAL's LCH that is light combat helicopter has been in news recently and it has got its much awaited name Prachand. On 1st of June 2022 the army has raised its first LCH squadron at Bengaluru and on 3rd October the Indian Air Force has inducted its first squadron of Prachand at Jodhpur Air Force Station. The Cabinet Committee on Security in March 2022 gave the approval for the procurement of 15 limited series production LSP LCH at a cost of Rs 3,887 crore. 10 helicopters would be for Indian Air Force and 5 for the Indian Army. The LCH Prashant is also known for its low observable design. The helicopter features a narrow fuselage and tandem seating for pilot and co-pilot. The features which improves the stealth characteristic of the helicopter are digital camouflage, the infrared suppressor fitted in the engine exhaust and an exterior covered by canted flat panels to minimize its radar cross-section. It is furnished with an integrated dynamic system including a hingeless main motor and bearingless tail rotor which works in conjunction with an anti-resonance isolation system to dampen the vibration. LCH is probably the most agile design in the world because of its rotor. The LCH also comes up with a glass cockpit, integrated avionics and display systems which uses an array of multifunctional displays along with target acquisition and designation TADS system. The helmet mounted side HMS is a prominent feature of TADS which is used for targeting and triggering the rotorcraft's armaments. It's also equipped with self-sealing fuel tanks, bulletproof windshields and damage tolerant main rotor blades to withstand small firearms. The LCH Prachand is going to be a game changer for Indian Armed Forces as it is the only assault helicopter in the world capable of taking off and landing at altitudes of 5 km while carrying considerable armament and fuel loads. The helicopter can meet the requirement of troops serving in the areas such as Siachen, Kargil, Leh and Ladakh. The LCH has total weapon payload capacity of 920 kgs. It can be armed with variety of weapons including air-to-air -air missiles, 70mm rockets, 20mm turret gun, anti-tank guided missiles, pre-fragmentation bombs, high-speed and low-drag bombs and fuel tanks. In the year 2019, Prachand had been tested against a moving aerial target with an air-to-air -air missile at integrated test range in Odisha's Chandipur. The air-to-air -air engagement was the distinction of being first ever in India by any helicopter. While the details of missile was not shared, but it's most likely going to be MBDS Mistral 2. Prachand has four hard points, two on the either side, where weapons can be loaded in almost all permutation and combination. It can carry 16 anti-tank guided missile 4 on each hard point. It can also carry 4 anti-tank missile on 2 hard points and 4 air to missile or 270mm rocket pods with each pod carrying 12 by 70 mm rockets on its remaining 2 hard points. Prachand is also capable of carrying 250kg bombs which could be either a pre-fragmentation bombs or a high speed or a low drag bomb. It can also carry 4 air to missiles on the other two pods along with the bombs. While Prachand is being hailed as a great acquisition for armed forces and a symbol of self-reliance and defense, still the gunship requires a fair amount of work before it can operate to its full firepower. While the helicopter comes integrated with Mistral air-to-air -air launcher, the order of missiles is still awaited. The helicopter's main role is going to be a tank buster, but it is yet to be integrated with an anti-tank guided missile. The Helena ATGM, whose Air Force version is also called Dhruvastra, is planned to be integrated with LCH. The missile has a range between 5 meters to 7 kilometers. The integration of ATGM has been fast-tracked and it is expected by the mid of 2023. The another major component that needs to be integrated with LCH Prachand is the electronic warfare suite. The LCH is going to be protected via an extensive electronic warfare suite provided by the SAB group called Integrated Defensive Aids Suite or IDAS. 
Now this suite comprises of various defensive elements including a radar warning receiver, a laser warning receiver and a missile approach warning system. In June 2022, it was reported that SAM was in final stage of transferring IDAS technology to HAL and both firms are working together on its future version that is IDAS 3. There is no official confirmation or reports on the timeline of integration of IDAS with Prashant. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.